Hello all, in today's class we will learn about different trigonometric functions. Um, the first one we will learn about sin of minus x which is equal to minus sin x. We have already learned this in our previous sessions. Second one also cos of minus x which is cos x tan of minus x which is minus tan x we have learned the proof of all this in our previous session secant of minus x which will be equal to secant x cosecant of minus x which is equal to minus cosecant x last one cot of minus x which is equal to minus cot x these are the basic trigonometric functions now we'll move ahead with the trigonometric functions of sum and difference of two angles. Now let's go to the addition of two angles in cos. Let's take cos a plus b. Remember students when we take cos x plus y or cos theta plus alpha or cos a plus b the formula according to your convenience you can remember it. Okay. Let's take simply cos a plus b now cos a plus b is defined to be cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So whenever you add two angles or subtract two angles you will have two values. In cos when we add two angles there will be a negative symbol in the middle. Similarly cos a minus b is defined to be cos a cos b you since it is a difference of two angles in cos remember students you should have a plus here so you'll have cos a cos b plus sin a sin b now let us do a small example so that students you can understand it easily how now we know that cos 90 degree is 0. We learn the values of all cos, sin and other trigonometric functions from the table we learned in one of the previous sessions. So this 90 just to verify I write it as cos 60 degree plus 30 degree. So A I will write it as 60 degree, B I will write it as 30 degree. Now I can write this as According to the formula cos a plus b, it is cos a cos b. So it is cos 60, that is a is 60 cos b into cos 30 degree minus sin 60 degree into sin 30 degree. What is cos 60 degree students? It is 1 by 2. Cos 30 degree, it is root 3 by 2 minus sin 60 degree it is root 3 by 2 sin 30 degree from the table it is 1 by 2 so it will be root 3 by 4 minus root 3 by 4 which is equal to 0 so finally i can say cos 60 degree plus 30 degree which is equal to cos 90 degree is equal to 0. So you should remember that whenever we add two angles in cos there will be a minus symbol in the middle. Whenever we subtract two angles in cos that is cos a minus b will have a plus in the middle. Like we will have cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. After learning about sum and difference of two angles 
in cos let's recap few things cos pi by 2 minus x we have learned in one of our previous sessions that is cos pi by 2 minus theta or cos pi by 2 minus x is sin x or cos 90 degree minus theta is equal to sin theta. So the tenth formula is sin pi by 2 minus x which will be equal to cos x or it is sin 90 degree minus theta is equal to cos theta. So cos 90 minus theta is sin theta, sin 90 minus theta is cos theta. Let's look at a small example. Now take this, um, take theta as 60 degree. So it will be cos 90 degree minus 60 degree is equal to, as per the formula cos 90 minus theta, it is sin theta. It, so cos 90 minus 60 degree is sin 60 degree, which is equal to root 3 by 2. What is root 3 by 2? Cos 90 minus 60 is cos 30 degree. So if you look back at our tables, you can see that cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. So this verifies this formula. So these two are very very important. You should remember that is cos 90 minus theta is sin theta and sin 90 minus theta is cos theta. Next we will learn about sin a plus b and sin a minus b that is sum and difference of two angles for the trigonometric function sin. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.